Hey there friends, it is me, H.O. Mod Tech, and I'm here with a little story about the Replicator Plus. Uh, I had to take it apart because I had a filament issue, and I put it back together, I had everything back ducky, and I would feed filament through, everything would be great. When I went to run a print, it would tell me, Air 80, filament not detected. I've torn it apart for three weeks, trying to figure out what was wrong, and I just found out I forgot to install one part. So I'm going to show you quickly how to assemble your Smart Extruder Plus so that you don't end up with an error 80 issue yourself. Alright, so you can see that I have got this fully disassembled. The, um, the filament is taken care of. And now it's time to put everything back in place. This has got a nifty little 4-pin plug that simply snaps in just like that. And now we're ready to detect filament. And I can't believe how long I waited to figure out that, that part was gone. Next, I'm going to take this part. I'm going to spin it so that I can line these holes up, making sure that I still have the spring in there. And then it just moves into place. And then with a little squeeze, you can get it up and above where it's supposed to be on that spot. This you can adjust afterwards. It's got the cool spring that they have put in place so that we can uh, touch the bottom of the bed without it causing an issue. Make sure that you've got the geared piece down and push it through that hole. And then squeeze these together just a little bit and attach your last bearing. And it just slides into place like that. Now you can bring your part together, and you'll need to squish it just a little to get it to go into place. So with them lined up, squeeze and push this in so that it locks firmly back in place. With all your parts where you need them, let's attach the little clip. And then tighten it down with the screws. You can clip this on ahead of time so that it stays in place and use your Allen wrench to bring it all back together. And now you'll have an unclogged extruder plus and you'll have the cool filament sensor that makes it so it works. Alrighty friends, so if you did find this useful, please hit that like button. I really hope none of you had the same issue I had and forget to put a part in. But if you did, hit that like button. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Mash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.